I didn't want to be a rock star, and I didn't want to be a movie star. No pictures, please. I want to be a health-based culinary expert, a cook star, and so can you. Hi, my name is Remy, and today on Cook Time, we're gonna prep and cook one of my favorite dishes called lemony smashed potatoes. Okay, first things first. The number one rule on cook time with Remy is that you always check with a parent or an adult before you start cooking. Next, it's very important to wash your hands before cooking any food. Okay, let's get started. Today, we're making lemony smashed potatoes. This recipe is actually in my new cookbook. So, next thing we need to do is get our cooking pots, pans, and bowls. So, we have my baking sheet. We will also need to have the ingredients used to make this great recipe. So, we need parsley, potatoes, lemon juice, non fat sour cream, chives, olive oil, cooking spray, and of course, some salt and pepper. Did you know when Spanish conquistadors invaded Peru in 1536, they became familiar with potatoes and took them back to Europe? So the first thing you want to do is boil your potatoes until they are tender. And also, I like to use Yukon Gold potatoes, or red potatoes, or fingerling potatoes, mainly because they're just easier to smash there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spray our baking sheet here. There we go. Nice and spread. And then we're gonna add our potatoes onto our baking sheet. And just put them on there. It doesn't have to necessarily be an orderly fashion there. There we go. And now for personally my favorite part, we get to smash them. So you gotta use your hand if they're cold enough, or you can use a spatula or a little spoon like I have. Just smash it, smash it. You know, smash it just enough so you get a tiny little opening there. And also an interesting fact about potatoes is that the Incan Indians actually uh, cultivated potatoes around 2,200 years ago. Sounds pretty crazy. Oops, got that one a little bit too much. I guess I was having too much fun. Wow, oh, there we go. And also, potatoes are actually really healthy for you because they're full of fiber and potassium. Can't see, oh, there we go. Gotta use all your strength on this one. Okay. Next up, we're going to Add our olive oil and lemon juice together. Nice little mixture. Oops, see your eyes are pretty messy and a bit intense in the kitchen. But what we're gonna do next is we're going to drizzle our olive oil and lemony mixture on this. And it adds a nice uh, citrus taste and it makes sure, and you wanna get just enough on there so that way each of your potatoes is nice and crunchy at the top, nice and golden. So I'm gonna have some salt and some pepper. And then you wanna put these in the oven at 450 degrees for about 25 minutes. But remember, you should always have adult supervision whenever you use any kind of hot appliance like a stove or the oven. Put these in there. And then 25 minutes, those will be finished and we can do the next step. So it's been about 25 minutes and the potatoes have been making the oven. It smells amazing and I had an adult take this out of the oven for me. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put our potatoes onto our presentation plate here. Get them, get a couple of crispy ones. Oh, it's running away from me. There you go, let's get that one. There we go little tripod. Next up, we're going to mix our chives and our sour cream together. Mix that up. Nice little mix here. It works really well together with all the flavors. Then you place a dollop of this on top. Oh. Then you add some fresh parsley. Oh, there we go. Oops. 
And then you have your lemony smashed potatoes. When you're cooking, it's always very important to make sure your ingredients measurements are right. Your ingredients also should be as fresh as possible so your food tastes the best. Remember the cook time rule. You should always include all five food groups whenever making each meal. Cooking is fun and the food you make should taste good and be healthy for you. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. Yogurt. Oh, yogurt. Mm. This dish is absolutely delicious. It's actually a recipe for my cookbook, Global Cooking for Kids, as an Australian appetizer. And whenever I make these potatoes at home, I can make double because my family literally eats it up. All kids should lead a healthy, active, and nutritious life. And we all play a role educating young people about healthy choices, including the 16 million children at risk of hunger in the US. Join me, Sodexo, and our partner, Share Our Strength, to help raise awareness about the one in five kids at risk of hunger by joining the movement of Generation No Kid Hungry. Thank you for hanging out with me on Cook Time with Jeremy. See you next time when we'll be making radish and cucumber bruschetta. Okay. Wee, okay, let's get started. I've reasonably shrunk since the last show. Oh, just kidding. Okay, ready?